Hey guys, I wanted to share the preface of my next book with you guys. This is a book that I've been working on for the past decade. Uh, it's a long time coming. I've been working on the content as well as the research over the past decade. And it's a combination of biosignals and um, artificial intelligence. And uh, I want to read the preface to you, and if you have any comments, let me know. But my goal is to um, finish the editing part and then publish it next week on Amazon. So the title, I'm still working on the title. I've changed it so many times. But right now what I have is uh, called Symbiotic Intelligence, When Biolog Biological and Artificial Minds Merge. And the subtitle is Rethinking Intelligence in the Age of AGI, ASI, and Robotics, Exploring the Fusion of Biosignals and Artificial Intelligence. In the midst of an evolving techno technological landscape filled with advancements in sciences and artificial intelligence, there exists a quieter yet equally profound space where the integration of biointelligence and artificial intelligence can reshape our relationship with technology. The path that led to this book began over a decade ago, around 2011, during the early stages of my PhD. At that time, I was delving deeply into the fields of information science, neuroscience, and machine learning, immersing myself in all the latest scientific research and training models. As I explored, one thing became abundantly clear. Almost all of the data being used to train these AI systems were purely, purely digital. The predominant focus was on leveraging structured numerical information, and no one seemed to be considering another crucial type of input, namely analog signals from our human biology. Throughout the years, as I continued to read, research, and work in this space, I was struck by the persistence of this oversight. Even today, discussions of AI and machine learning remain heavily skewed towards digital data and miss the potential of analog biointelligence inputs. As an example, the focus on biosignal processing and biomedical data in current research often revolves around areas like health monitoring, um, biomedical data, disease predictions, and biometric, uh, biometric security, uh, rather than integrating real-time biosignals into artificial systems such as AGI, ASI, or robotics. Others, others primarily focus on modeling and simulating biological neural networks to create advanced AI systems. In other words, mimicking how the brain works. While they leverage insights from neuroscience, such as how neurons function and how neural networks operate, the work of these researchers and scientists does not typically involve integrating real-time biosignal data to train their models. Yet to me, this is where the frontier lies. Yes, some of the ideas introduced in this book may seem far-fetched, especially given the current state of technology and our incomplete understanding of biointelligence. But if we look back 50 years, who could have imagined the leaps and bounds technology has made since then? Who would have guessed that we would be sending complex information across the world in milliseconds using nothing more than a small device in the palms of our hands? Similarly, 50 years from now, we may see advances that are equally unimaginable today, perhaps integrating biological intelligence into our systems will turn out to be 
a pivotal development that radically transforms the landscape of AI. Imagine a future where this convergence leads to AI tools so advanced that they not only augment our understanding of machine learning, but also enable us to unlock deeper insights into our own biology by feeding biosignals and leveraging the intelligence of our cells and neurons, we can create the next gen of AI systems that are not just smarter, but also more harmonized with the natural intelligence of living organisms. This struck me as a significant gap. Biological intelligence, the innate intelligence embedded in our cells, neurons, and the very fabric of our bodies is still largely a mystery. Our bodies maintain homeostasis, respond to environmental changes, and operate in ways that we have yet to fully decode. And yet, this intelligence exists, functioning seamlessly to keep organisms alive and thriving. The question that began to take root in my mind was, why aren't we incorporating this remarkable biological intelligence in the form of biosignals and analog data into our AI systems? While we don't fully understand it yet, surely there is a value in leveraging this biointelligence as input data alongside our conventional digital data inputs. This book represents over decades of reflection, research, and continuous exploration of these ideas. While much of it is still theoretical, I hope to present a compelling case for why it's time to bring biointelligence into the conversation and to consider a future where artificial and biological systems work together in harmony, opening the door to new realms of possibilities. This book is not simply a technical exploration, it is also a reflection of a dream, a long-standing personal and professional journey that has shaped the ideas within these pages. What this book aims to achieve is both personal and technical. On one hand, it refers to the fresh framework for understanding how biosignals ranging from neural oscillation and cardiac rhythms to molecular and atomic level signals can be incorporated into the design and developments of AGI and ASI and robotics. On the other hand, it reflects a genuine belief that the human biology with all its complexity holds untapped potential for making AI system more intuitive and responsive. In these pages, you'll encounter both well-established knowledge and new uncharted territories of thoughts, from the study of brainwave patterns to the understanding of how metabolic oscillations in cells might be utilized as data points, this book brings together the technical rigor of neuroscience with the for and, and biology with the forward-looking possibilities of AI, and so forth and so forth. Okay, so that's what I had. This was the draft of the preface. If you have any thoughts, let me know. Um, I am hoping to publish this next month after I finish, we finish all the editing. Thanks for listening, bye. What's exciting is that this process can go both ways. With these new AI systems, we could potentially gain insights into the very nature of bio intelligence that we've only begun to scratch the surface of. It is a symbiotic relationship. The biological intelligence inherent in nature enriches AI, and in turn, these advanced AI systems can help us understand ourselves at a fundamental level. From the workings of individual cells to the dynamics of complex neural networks. This is not merely a one-sided endeavor, as mentioned, where AI becomes more powerful. It is about creating a reciprocal partnership, a collaboration between the biological and the artificial intelligences that could lead to breakthroughs we, can, we cannot yet fathom. 
It's not about machines becoming smarter just for the sake of it. It's about building systems that through this convergence can serve as allies and extensions of our own cognitive and biological abilities, ultimately making our lives better, enhancing scientific research, and pushing the boundaries of what we know about life itself.